afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Can I help you? Um, yes, yes. Actually, I'm looking for a very good friend of mine. He's actually from this village. And he says if I get here and mention his name, I'll be directed to where he is. Uh-huh. Who is the person? Well, he said he's fondly known here as um, Aminabo the 16th. <gasps> Aminabo? Yes. Are you sure you know the Aminabo? <sighs> Why, yes. He's a very good friend of mine. And I'm sure he'll be pleased about my visit. I hope. Uh, okay, um, can I be the one that will take you to where he is? I, I mean, it would be so much pleasure if I'm the one that will take you to where he is. Please? What? Oh, yeah, sure, I mean, yeah, that, that would be awesome. Please, come here. Uh, you're going to have to turn. We're going that way. Okay. Please have mercy on us. Please. Please, sir. Please forgive us. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Please. Quiet. Shut your eyes. Open your eyes, please. 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 Look up to the sun. I said, open your eyes. I know. Please, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Forgive us. Ajude. Ajude, what is the meaning of this? Why are you punishing them? I'm carrying out an express order by the king. No. Open your eyes. Please, the sun. I can't see anymore. Father, I don't understand what is going on. Why are you being punished for nothing? What does that mean, Father? Father, the gods and maidens are working hard in this palace. Why only such uh, uh, extreme punishment on them? Why? Son, I derive happiness from seeing people suffer. <laughs> They say I, I don't have a conscience. <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> uh, you see, the sun is going to expire on them today. And that is how I will be able to sleep very well tonight. <laughs> 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 Your Majesty, they said I must come alone. And I wonder what a poor widow will be doing alone in the presence of His Majesty. Do you know this young man? Yes, Your Majesty. He's your son. They confirmed Amenable the Sistine. Word has reached me that you are three months pregnant. Is that true? It is true, Your Majesty. 
your husband died without a child. Do you know what that means? The gods do not want that lineage to continue. Everything he has reverts to me, the king. But this cursed woman of my kingdom is now pregnant for a dead man. <laughs> oh, your plan is to provoke the gods and, uh, uh, and, and defile my land. No, Your Majesty. I never had such plans. I only wanted to show the world that I am a woman. <laughs> See what I mean? You want to show the whole world that you are a woman. And by extension, you want to ridicule your husband who comes to come from your kingdom. No, Your Majesty. I never wanted to ridicule my husband. Oh, you shut up! I hereby banish you out of this land, never to return. And if I see you anywhere near your husband's house, I shall have you thrown into the lion's den. Oh my God! Your Majesty. You have an advert running on radio at the moment. I listened to it and listened and listened and listened severally. Uh, I thought I should send for you to explain, <laughs> to explain it to me. Yes, Your Majesty. We are organizing a very powerful crusade mm. and uh, we already invited men mm. for it mm. and we are creating an awareness. Mm. The advert said that uh, the blind will see, the lame and crippled will walk, the deaf will hear, the dumb will speak. But I want to know, <laughs> where, where did you get the right to organize such blasphemy in my kingdom? Well, Your Majesty, we are not planning for any blasphemy in your land. But rather we are organizing a gospel crusade, which you have already tagged. Olasi for Christ, Your Majesty. Mm. Mm. Are you aware that Olisa, the all-knowing, created these people with their deformities? Yes, Your Majesty, to an extent, not in all cases. Mm. Would you, would, would you, would, would you, would, 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 would you warn these invaders? I do not want any blasphemy on my land. Is that clear? Olisa, who created the, the blind, made him, made him blind because there are things he didn't want him to see. The deaf he didn't want, there are things he didn't want them to hear. The lame and people, there are places he didn't want them to go. He didn't want them to go too far at all. And the, and the dumb, there are some rubbish that coming out of the mouth that he didn't want the people to hear. And now you come, you come and, and you come and you set up a blasphemy on my land! But, Father, I forbid you to speak. 
that blasphemy will not happen on my land. And the advert. Oh yes, the advert. That must be removed immediately. Oh, I shall skin you alive. Just if they hold their crusade, you will be fine. Please, my son. I, I will not permit blasphemy. Father, it is not blasphemy. It's not blasphemy. They are only praising only sad the almighty God. It's not blasphemy, Father. Please. Decisively, you must, you must not be a lenient king. The elders don't trust them. Only Ichi Zemanze is the only one you can trust. The others, they, they are like chameleons. Yes, don't. Any advice from that? Father, Father, please, please, let me go and get the preachers, please. No, 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 no. But, Father, why are you saying all these things? Oh, son, son, I. Uh,
My father was a very brutal king. He advised me to step into his shoes. <laughs> but we all know his shoes were not wonderful shoes for anybody to step into. I want us to adopt democratic ways in administering this kingdom. And on that note, I will move into my chambers for 10 minutes. I want this council to draw an agenda for this meeting. Sorry, Ola. But where are we going? I mean, where are we going? Where are you taking me to? Yay! <laughs> My problem is what you are wearing. Eh? I don't think they'll allow us to see their minor, but <laughs> seeing that you're dressed this way. <sighs> My dear, are you sure you're taking me to see the right person? Ola, the person I want to see is called Enumelu Obo. <gasps> What is wrong with you? What is it? The Aminabo of Olasi Kingdom is a direct representative of Olisa, the all-knowing God. And it is so much of a taboo for anybody to call him by his God-given names. Hey, Chinikim. How am I supposed to trace you when I come to Olasi Kingdom? Well, Enumenuobo is not my name. When you come to Olasi, Tell them you're looking for Aminabo the 16th. Even a child born today knows where I live. Um, Ola, this Aminabo the 16th, he, I mean, he must be an old man, right? Here on Olasi Kingdom, we have only one Aminabo. Aminabo the 16th. And he's a man. All men are equal in this land and there are no age grades. Let's go. Just pray they don't turn us back. Let's go. Come with me. Come now, come. Is this the decision we are going to I am sorry, Your Majesty. The council was unable to draw an agenda as instructed. Many don't know why, but I know. I'm sorry if any disagrees with me. I am speaking my mind. And I know our ancestors may agree with me. The first thing the king must do is to pick a wife. Women of Olasi will not accept any pronouncement from an unmarried Aminabo. They will feel excluded. I, therefore, will not permit us to make any pronouncement to avoid this evil standard. Am I number 16? We first marry before he can preside over the council. That is the only way we can make any pronouncement that can be binding on everybody. I hope I spoke to your mind earlier. Thank you. In the middle of this kingdom, Ola, the daughter of Ogurushu Obalo, has entered this palace with a half-naked woman. Ajide, there are certain things you need to know as the head of security in this palace. The nakedness of a woman is the source of all the wickedness you see in the world. In this kingdom, when we have a female child, the first thing we teach her is to learn to sit down with her legs crossed. 
we teach them so early so that when they grow up they will cover their evil feminine wickedness as the head of security they are in your tenure we do not want any female nakedness in this palace do I make myself clear? Perfectly understood, Your Highness. Mm. Mm. That will be all for now. What? A naked woman in the palace of Vulasi Kingdom? You are not serious. So I'm serious. I personally questioned her and she told me she's looking for Amainabo. That Amainabo is her friend. What a contrast. Am I in a body 16th? Keeping a half naked woman as a friend. Sam, I'm surprised myself. That is why I came to you. All of the kingdom. All of the kingdom. Good Lord, land flows with milk and honey. Separate. Where are they? Uh, I kept them in room, in room, in waiting room four. Let's go. Ah, oh, good afternoon, my good friend. <laughs> good day, sir. I came back. Just as instructed. This is the 21st day. I know. And you came right on time. Now, you go and be with the guests. This is a senior police officer. I wouldn't want to keep him waiting. I'll be with you soon. Okay. Why? Am I not okay like this? Mm -hmm. No, you're not. You're not dressed at all. The Palace of Ulasi Kingdom is regarded as a very sacred place. And my position as a head of maidens on duty will be held responsible if you dress in this manner to see Amanapo. Really? <laughs> yes. Amanapo the 15th had actually ordered the execution of a woman who was urinating on the roadside broad day afternoon. And no kindness of a woman is accorded strong respect in this land, so please, I beg you, tie this wrapper, please. You're naked. Come on. Can you please stop saying I'm naked? I am not naked. Look, there's nothing showing. Nothing. Nothing is showing. And um, just tie it, please. Thank you. Mm -mm. Hey, you may want to tie that to come down. Your the whole of your down is still naked. Thank you very much. Power to bless and curse rests on my tongue. You can kill me and nothing will happen. But I want to tell you that I love your sister. You must be living in fool's paradise to ever think I will allow you to marry this papa of no class. Are you telling me that you are the king that all the politicians are begging to wash their faces 
with the water he used in washing his legs? The palace of Olasi Kingdom is a sacred place. And the blessings that come with washing of the faces is it. I will unleash the paramount of our blessings on you if you allow me marry a sister. Lucky enough, this council has just reminded me that I need to get married before we can proceed with any cabinet meeting. Who, who am I? Who am I to reject such offer? <laughs> you see, something tells me that you're not a simple woman at all. Hmm. You have the attributes of a leader. That's why the moment I saw you, I tried to follow you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? My princess, where are you? <laughs> you? You're calling me princess. You're trying to flatter me or what? <laughs> Look, I want you to abandon all what you are doing. I want you to tell any of my officers to drive you down to the palace of Ulasi Kingdom. Yes, I have swallowed my words. What do you mean by you've swallowed your words? I am in the palace of Ulasi Kingdom. Where are you? She said she is in the palace. My dear. My princess. Yes. I'll be back. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a problem? What's, what's going on? I mean, what is happening? Hajide, she said she's in the palace. What does that mean? Your Majesty, the chief of the guards told me that Ola brought a woman visitor. I was about to go and meet her when the senior police officer arrived. They are in waiting room four. Mm. That's interesting. I want to see the visitor now. Yes, Your Majesty. you have exhibited in the university for four years has taught me huge lessons. Great men are not known by appearance but by what they can do. I want to see my brother and Elume. Oh, they are mine. Oh, my oh, my. I mean, oh, they are mine. Please. He, 
he, he. Yes, you all have no reason to report me to our father in his grave. You once introduced him to me as a fiance. And I'll confirm to you. <laughs> he is your husband. Your Majesty, this may sound very awkward, but I am convinced that my brother does not love me. Violet, why do you accuse my husband? Oh, Princess, he loves you. He loves you so much, and I can vouch for him. He really does. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but I do not believe you. I just told him that somebody wants to marry me, and he was so excited. And I am really reading meaning into that. Goodness gracious. And is that why you think he doesn't love you? Oh, Violet, of course he does. He was so excited because he knows that every woman is always excited when a suitor comes by. It depends, Your Majesty. Because when a brother loves their sister, they want to find the best men for their sisters. They want to find out a man who could take care of their sister's needs and provide them with everything they want. But my brother is different. He is tired and sick of me. And he doesn't care who I get married to. Violet, by virtue of where I stand, wisdom has taught me that there is more to love than tears. There's more to love than your brother getting involved with your private issues. He loves you. He really does. You know, your brother and my brother had enormous problems. Big problems before we finally got married. Guess why? That was because my brother didn't trust me enough to believe that I could pick for myself a man. To believe that I could choose whom I want to marry. But look at you. Look at you. So lucky. He believes in you. He trusts your judgment. He believes that you can pick for yourself a man, a suitor. That's why he was excited. My dear, why hold that against him? Why? I'm sorry to disagree with you, Your Majesty. I have made my point. My brother does not love me, and I feel very unprotected and disappointed.
my hello. You look radiant today. Thank you. Please sir. <laughs> of course I will. So. Oh. Hmm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm actually going through the papers, you know. Find out what they say and... and what about the papers? Of <laughs> course you will. There is something I'd like you to know. That I respect and confidence in your judgment. I do not agree that because you are a king, you have to marry from here or not from there. No. I think you have every right to marry from wherever you want. Wherever you can find someone with, who can bring out the man in you. Uh, sorry to cut you short, Father, but why are you saying all these things? Well. If I die tomorrow, at least you know that I, I really approve of your decision and I respect it. You have every right to marry from wherever you choose. Oh, that will, the elders will come with politics. Oh yes, uh, why you should marry from here, why you should not marry from there. Ignore it. Always. Follow your heart. Thank you, Father. I really, really appreciate your approval. Thank you once again. You're welcome. But you have to accord your sister the same respect. She's intelligent. She knows what she wants. And I think you should be respected. She loves you. And you two should love her to death. And yes, she has every right. And I think whatever happens, you should always respect our opinion and our decision. It is her life, and she's intelligent enough to know what she wants. And remember, she is my daughter, just as you are my son. Yes, sir. Are you sure Violet actually said that to you? Yes, Your Highness. She says that you were so excited about her getting married. And she's really meaning to that excitement. If I should repeat her words, Your Highness, she says that you're sick and tired of her living in the palace. <sighs> this is strange. What did you tell her? Oh, Your Highness. I told her you were so excited because you're a responsible brother. Because you believe in her. You believe in her ability to be able to pick for herself a credible husband. But she felt otherwise. She felt that you ought to have put up the same resistance that brothers show when an unknown suitor comes to ask for their sister's hand. Oh. You know, I... I can't believe my only sister actually doubts my love for her. I mean, it's, it's strange. I was excited because I, I know that she took after her mother and it's not possible for her to love a man that is not credible. Your Highness, you have to sit her down and reassure her of your love. Yes, she sounded really hurt. I felt so uncomfortable hearing her sound that way. Hello. You look radiant today. Thank you. Please, sir. <laughs> of course I will. So. Hmm. Good. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm actually going through the papers. You know, find out what they say and... And what about the papers? 
<laughs> of course you will. There is something I'd like you to know. That I respect and confidence in your judgment. I do not agree that because you are a king, you have to marry from here or not from there. No. I think you have every right to marry from wherever you want. Whenever you can find someone with, who can bring out the man in you. Uh, sorry to cut you short, Father, but why are you saying all these things? Well, if I die tomorrow, at least you know that I, I really approve of your decision and I respect it. You have every right to marry from wherever you choose. Oh, that will the elders will come with politics. Oh yes, uh, why you should marry from here, why you should not marry from there. Ignore it. Always follow your heart. Thank you, Father. I really, really appreciate your approval. Thank you once again. You're welcome. But you have to accord your sister the same respect. She's intelligent. She knows what she wants. I think she should be respected. She loves you. And you two should love her to death. And yes, she has every right. And I think whatever happens, you should always respect her opinion and her decision. It is her life. And she's intelligent enough to know what she wants. Remember, she is my daughter, just as you are my son. Yes, sir. Are you sure Violet actually said that to you? Yes, Your Highness. She says that you were so excited about her getting married. And she's really mean to that excitement. If I should repeat her words, Your Highness, she says that you're sick and tired of her living in the palace. <sighs> this is strange. Where did you tell her? Oh, Your Highness. I told her you were so excited because you're a responsible brother. Because you believe in her. You believe in her ability to be able to pick for herself a credible husband. But she felt otherwise. She felt that you ought to have put up the same resistance as brothers show when an unknown suitor comes to ask for their sister's hand. Oh. You know, I, I can't believe my only sister actually doubts my love for her. I mean, it's, it's strange. I was excited because I, I know that she took after her mother and it's not possible for her to love a man that is not credible. Your Highness, you have to sit her down and reassure her of your love. Yes. She sounded really hurt. I felt so uncomfortable hearing her sound that way. <sighs> Princess. Don't you think you are being angry on your brother over nothing? I am not. He was so excited when I told him I was getting married. And that is how it should be. You don't expect him to be angry, do you? He's tired of my presence in the palace. And that's why he wants me out. He didn't even ask if the man was from Olasi or somewhere else. He was just so excited and overwhelmed. That is it. That is how it should be. That is what I expect every responsible and educated person to do. Okay? See, princess, I'm not going to sit down here and discuss the Amina Bo for last. I am the princess of this kingdom. And there's nothing you should be scared about. I know. I know, but please, can we discuss something else? Okay? What your brother did is what I expect my brother to do if I tell him I'm getting married. Okay? And you don't expect me to see through your eyes what is bad and what is holy good. Please. 
Okay. My sister went to my wife and complained that I don't love her. She came to that conclusion because I was excited when she told me that she had found somebody who loves her and wants to marry her. She said I don't want her in the palace anymore and that's why I want her out. Hajide. Your Majesty. You are my second in command in this palace. And I can assert you know everything. Is there anything I've done so far to violence that will make her believe I don't love her? You have done nothing wrong, Your Majesty. The accusation is in bad faith. I feel there are forces that are beginning to whisper rubbish into her ears. I'll get down to the root of the matter, Your Majesty. You have no permission to investigate my sister. You've given me the confirmation I seek, and I assure you, I will get to the root of this. I will handle it personally. So what do I do, I, did, I said I will handle the matter personally. Yes, Your Majesty. You may go now. my birthday. That's nice. Oh. Now, please, come with me. I have something to show you outside. Behold, my royal gift for the princess of Olasi Kingdom on her 20th birthday. <laughs> Go 
Konzerte. I resolved to give my sister a car six months ago, and trust me, that's exactly what I just did. The problem is timing. You did not tell her about the car, the car came to her as a big surprise. And guess what, my love? She may begin to think you gave her the car because of what she said. My queen, who cares? I mean, who cares? Look, I love my sister, and I'll continue to love her, okay? And believe me, her insinuation that I don't love her is childish, and it will fizzle away with time. So please, my queen, please. I suggest you forget about my sister and do better things with your time. I think... Well, better still, come spend time with me. No, 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 no. Please. You are... Okay, can you now say that your brother doesn't love you again? Is it because of this car? This car means nothing to him. He inherited so much from my father. No matter how much you inherited, I still insist that he loves you so much to have given you this car. Many people who inherited many things more than him can never give anything tangible like him. Yeah, all right. Well, I have my plans. And when I execute my plan, I'll know if my brother values money over me. Princess, I still insist that you are entitled to your own opinion. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, you are accusing your brother over nothing. Okay? You want to drive? Yeah! You know, I was told you now play solo. You avoid everybody. Always on your own. You know, I, I came to this conclusion that you have become my kind of businessman. And I called you here because I now want us to do business together. Let me just say I like to keep it on the DL these days, you know. I don't exactly advertise my business on the yellow pages. You know what I mean? Yeah. Solo helps. Keeps you out of trouble. But um, I don't like to get involved in negative business, so to speak. I like to keep it crisp, clean. Is that the way you go wrong? Business itself is negative in nature. And as long as one is in business, it can be said that one is negative. Well, anyways, what kind of business are we talking about? There is this car that I told one of the that I have. The truth is that I don't have this car. Okay? And the Alahaji has already paid me advance for this car and is now waiting for me to deliver the car in two days, three days, four days. I don't want to have problem with this Alahaji. And this is why I sent for you. 
Well, if you want my take on this, let me see this. It's that way I'm not a northern. Hmm? I don't speak out so. Though I've messed with a couple of chicks from the north, but um, I know, I know. I'm not an expert of that region and uh, I don't know why you need my services because I think I'm completely out of my forte here. I believe you want me to speak in black and white, do you? That's precisely the reason I'm wearing the colors. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll say it. Big boy, I want you to steal the car. I beg your pardon. I am not a thief. You understand me? I don't look like a thief. I don't talk like a thief. I'm far, far intellectually ahead of most thieves. Most. I know you so well. Guy, you steal this car for me. I deliver this car to our Asia and we have so much money to share. Okay. See, I'm interested in this deal. Just under probably that I'm trusted with the um, what kind of car we're looking at. Honda. Honda car, good Honda car. You know, Alhajis and Honda, you know, if they have a confidence sort of, I don't know. You steal the car, we share the money and we have good business. Always want to do the same thing. Okay. Say, I take the business. And say, I find you a nice, clean Honda. How much are you seeing you? big enough to cash your fast. You steal the car, we share the money, we are happy. <laughs> Good business. <laughs> Come on, my guy, I know you. Can you do this for me? Mm. All right. Uh, okay. Well, let's just say this. Um, like you said, business is business. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's my guy. And um, it's hard to keep up looking good with all those expensive blinks and the lifestyle without business. It's fine whiskey. You live well. Yeah, we whiskey. I call this meeting because I believe I'm not more intelligent than all of you here. Chief Odetta was the last visitor I had yesterday and he told me something I find quite strange to comprehend. Chief Odetta, tell this council what you told me yesterday. Your Highness, this is unfair. What I discussed with you yesterday was private. Why do you want me to present the matter before the council? Well, you made it appear as if it concerns the kingdom. And now I'm telling you to address this council. Well, my fellow cabinet members, we all know that and my neighbor of Olasi Kingdom is the direct representative of Olisa, the all-knowing God. That a woman who is menstruating does not cook for Amayenabo of Olasi Kingdom. And because we may not always know when a woman or any woman is menstruating, we made it a law that a woman must not cook for our Amayanabo. But the queen that we married from another land has been cooking for our Amayanabo and he has been eating. This is what I told uh, uh, His High, uh, Majesty to stop before it brings down the kingdom. What you heard is exactly what Chief Odette told me yesterday. And now I ask this council, what is wrong in a man eating what his wife cooks?
I am sorry to ask this, Your Majesty. Are you telling us that you have been eating what your wife cooks? Of course! I mean, she is my wife. And she is going to be the mother of my children, so why would I eat what she cooks? You are no longer an ordinary man. You are the Amainabo. And cannot do what we do. Obuzo is chief cook in this palace. Who have sworn to protect the king, even at the point of death. Why are you eating from the queen, your majesty? Mm. You see, there are things we do in this kingdom that we cannot publish in any international magazine. And what we are seeing here is one of them. A woman remains a woman. And it's, it's only natural for young women to pass through menstrual period. There is nothing evil or unclean about it. And whatever restriction we place on them on that account is wrong and must be stopped. Did you know nobody? Forgive me, my love, but you shouldn't eat from my pot, and I'm sure it's tradition, and you should obey it. There's really no need for arguments. There's none. You know what the main problem is? No. You. Me? Yes, you. My cabinet members, they are not happy that I married from another land. So because of that, they are bringing up all these outdated customs just to get at me. You can't be serious. I am serious. But my queen, I want you to understand that I know what I am doing. I do. <laughs> my mother cooked for my father and countless number of times and I even dined with them. So based on that, I can tell you that they are wrong if they say that a woman cannot cook for their minor. Have you confronted them with this fact? <laughs> well, I don't have to do that. They are elders quite all right, but at the same time, they are my subordinates. Hello. Your sister is in custody. I speaking with, please? What is it? I demand a ransom of 15 million naira. You have 12 hours to pay the money, or else you never see your sister again. Please, 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 please! Don't kill my sister, please. Kill? And where is she now? Are you ready to pay the money? Look, I don't know who you are, but I want to tell you Reminds me of my mother, and I am ready to lay down my life for her. Tell me where you want this money, and you will get it. And assure me that my sister is okay. Your sister is perfect. Just pay us the money. You see your sister again. And where do you want the money? As you're driving down at Panam Lake, you see an uncompleted building where men and women. Or Salvation Troopers Assembly gathered every Sunday. It's on the left side of the road, 
a few meters away from Mazi Villa, drop the money in front of the church. Now listen, you better play solo. Because if you try anything funny, you'll never see your sister again. What is it? What is it? Oh my God, what happened? What happened? Violet has just been kidnapped. What? That's what the caller said. He said I have just 12 hours to pay a ransom of 50 million naira. 50 what? 50 million naira? My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. My goodness. What are we going to do? What are we, what are we going to do? In fact, in fact, for this meeting to make meaningful progress, we must learn to be sincere to ourselves. I'm sorry, Mr. Manze, but I don't understand what you mean by being sincere to ourselves. What you told our neighbor at the palace was wrong. Yes. My grandfather told me that Amenabo the 14th employed a female cook. Yes. He did this because the queen then was such a terrible bad cook. Very terrible bad cook that to prepare common bitterly soup, ordinary bitterly soup becomes a problem. Yes. So Amenabo the 14th ate all his life from the part of this woman he employed from Mabeliko. Okay, am I never the, uh, the 15th? We all know. Employed Obruzo. Obruzo only cook during festive period. During normal time. Am I never ate from the pot of his wife? Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Manse, what are you trying to tell us? That am I never the 16th is free to eat from the pot of a strange woman? Oh, the Who are you calling a strange woman? Who? Remember, we married the queen as an ordinary woman. She came into this kingdom, accepted to partake in all the rites of initiation into the court of our great feminine society. Yes. In fact, she is even prepared to die for this kingdom. She is prepared to die for this kingdom. Mr. Mas, don't you think that you are digging a grave that may consume our Amina Bob? by the kind of support you are giving to him. Oh, yes. What a man eats through his mouth cannot make him unclean. Uncleanliness comes from where what a man plans to say or do, even where he goes. We should leave Amayanabo to concentrate on his duties. Let us eschew politics of bigotry. Antagonism, unnecessary sentiment, and move this kingdom forward. In fact, this meeting is close. And uh, let it close. I said it, he is sounding differently. I wonder he where, where he got different. this information is just given to us.
ask you to. Did you come with the money? Yes, I did. I came with $400,000. That's the dollar equivalent. Wow. Where's the money? It's right here with me. Um, drop the money at the church. Now. Listen, I drop the money and I get my sister. Do we have a deal? Now you listen, jerk. Do not give me instructions. I'll call the shots here. Drop the money and go. I'll call you by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning so that you can pick up your sister. Son, an Amina Bor is a direct representative of Ulisa. And once you are accepted and appointed as king, then you are forbidden from going out on Oye Market Day. We call it Oye Ulisa Market Day. On that day, you do not go out. You stay indoors, calmly and quietly, listening to the voices of the gods. Whatever happens, you do not step out on Oye Ulisa Market Day. Oye. In Olasi Kingdom, we call it Oye Olisa. The king of Olasi must not leave the palace on that day. Can't we conclude this deal today? I need to see my sister. She's the only thing I have. You cannot see your sister. Alright? You know what you do? You send somebody to come and pick her up in the morning. Don't worry. I'll allow you to send someone. Get lost. Do not get me angry. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'm sorry. like you instructed and I'm going home to wait for your call. Don't be silly you fool. How dare you leave the money so exposed. Now put the money in the church building right now. Get lost. I'll call you in the morning. So you can pick up your sister. Do not call the police or else. Good day. He does love me after all. Did you? Babe. 
said they will release her tomorrow. Tomorrow? Why tomorrow? You can't go out tomorrow. You don't go out tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I'll send the chief security. I pray they call me as they promised. These are temptations that come with leadership. Please, my love, don't worry. You'll be fine. Your Majesty, please sit. Please. a dicey situation and I feel this is the time for you to know. I'm all ears, Your Majesty. When my father was about to die, he he told me never to trust my cabinet members. He told me that men who laugh with you are the same men who will kill you. Your enemies. He was specific. He mentioned your name, Ichinjamad. And he told me that you are the only person that I can trust and listen to. I'm frightened. 